Howdy, howdy, Harry here. We just stopped at a truck stop. We're uh, heading away camping, as I mentioned yesterday. Yesterday was when we headed out with Brody. So what we're doing, uh, we're heading away. And this morning I woke up and I was like, we, we hadn't planned anything, even though we wanted to head away. Um, I woke up and I was like, Talia, where do you want to go? Huh? I just said that like this morning I woke up and I said like, where do you want to go? Do you want to go up or down? What did you say? Up. Up, north. north. So that's what we're doing. and. Um, we just were like, you know, driving away and we, we just booked where we're going. So pretty keen for that to get away. Um, one thing that's different though is uh, usually there's something on the back of my car. It's not there, it's gone. Spewing, um, yeah, the motor's still, uh, still blown, but working on it, working on it. Really excited to kind of get it back out in the water and, and bring it with me, but Still gonna get amongst it, of course. Uh, can you get away? It's, it's a pretty special spot. Not as far as we usually truck to, but we'll get there. Very keen. Let's do it. Lego. Ooh, sun's going down. We're gonna be setting up in the dark. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we're on a dirt road. We are definitely here. Um, just gonna roll in and uh, make sure we don't hit any kangaroos or anything like that. <laughs> speaking of eh, speaking of kangaroos, we uh, we found some. Hey mate, look at them! <laughs> look at them! There they are. Cute. Cute. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more already on there. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, we're finally here. Got the swag set up, all done, nice and simple. There we go. That's it. Um, yeah, it's beautiful right now. The uh, the stars are out when we rolled in, so basically, yeah, we're just gonna chill out and check out the stars, go down the beach and do some stargazing, which I'm really keen for. Um, but really, otherwise, we're just gonna touch base when we're the sun's out, and so are we. You. Good morning. Um, we're just here, plonked, set up, and uh, the sun is out. It's looking good. Uh, we were saying this morning, it's just the plan we had with this trip was just to basically plonk somewhere and just stay because we used to uh, just trekking it up the coast and just like stopping, moving, stopping, moving. But this time we just want to stop and then and stay and hopefully the car will, will last us. So it was weird getting up this morning and being like, oh, let's just chill, go to the beach, uh, and get out there and not have to move on to the next place. So yeah, going to enjoy this. My uh, tip if you want to get away on the reg is just to have a box that is packed, ready to go and got all you need um, for you to get away. So you can just kind of put it in the car and go, that's what we got here, box with kind of everything we may need. Yep, yep, okay, credit to Talia, I'm stealing things. No, it was, it was a joint effort. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's what we got here, just a box that's just always in my garage, ready to put in the car and go. So. Yeah, I advise doing that if you want to get away on the reg. Just having a uh, little roll and... Old mate comes, hello. <laughs> hello. You can't have any. You got your own food, buddy. You got your own food. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you got your own food, mate. No. No, this is mine. And no cigarette sauce for you. <laughs> their tail here. And just... Oh, he's grabbing me. I love their tail just how, uh, you can't see it, but just how much their tail stabilizes them. You're so, um... Just wanna swim out there. <laughs> the heck? Oh no, someone's in there. Oh wait, just do <laughs> <laughs> Come on time. Oh no, the fishies. Oh, cool. Yeah, we used to get these and go like... And do that? No. Pop! No. We used to always like fight and... Like fire them at each other? Yeah. Pop! Like that. That's cool, let me have a go. Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Going. <laughs> uh. 
just found something and I think it's the inside of a sea urchin. See here? Usually there's all those spines coming off it. Doesn't smell great either. I think it's one of the red sea urchins as well. Just due to the spines here. But yeah, people crack these open and eat them. This one is very old though, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Sometimes I've found them with uh, like ticks on them. You can see on their face. Oh, he doesn't like me. Yeah, I found them with ticks on them before, and like you just you can see these big ticks growing on there. Sometimes like the one I found with like a fair few ticks on him, he was like looking a bit sickly, Hello. and I got like tweezers and went up to him and like pulled them off. It was very satisfying, but you got to make sure that you get a really good grip so you can get the actual pincers out and everything. Otherwise, it's not good for them. Food. So you got to be careful. Yeah, just picking some grass. I mean, not to feed these guys anything. All right, Talia wants to uh, read a book on the beach, so I'm going to go for a dive. And this is what I want to do. I want to get a fish that I can put in this and cook. That is the plan. If I can get a fish that I can put in this over the fire, over something to cook it, I will be a happy man. Uh, so let's go try and find something like that. As I said, Ty is going to read, which is cool. I'm going to go for a dive. Uh, oh, I just, I love this stuff, eh? Hey? Like just seeing these like patches of different colored reef out there, it just like really like tickles my kind of adventurous side. It's like, uh, like I just need to go out there and see what's under there to know because I haven't been here before. I just need to go out there and check it out. So yeah, just I'm trying to scratch my itch here. Let's get out there. Bye. <laughs> okay. Hey, Finally, we're back in the water. I seem to be wading through the sediment and sand particles just to see a fish. I continue my search and peer over this ledge. I notice some little Port Jackson sharks peacefully laying in a group. Now, if someone tells you they've seen a Port Jackson shark, don't let them fool you into thinking they've seen some big monstrous thing. These are usually quite small, have a blunt head, and though shark is usually associated with big sharp teeth, these actually have blunt, non-serrated, broad, flat teeth. They're mainly used for kind of crushing and grinding shells of mollusks and things like that. Now, I was wondering why so many of these are around, but then I remembered that the breeding period is actually from around late August to mid-November, so we're in prime time for for these guys to be getting it on in little areas like this. Anyway, after checking these out for a bit, I decide we got some food to get for camp. And around the next ledge, I see more Port Jackson sharks. They were everywhere, there were so many. But through the Port Jacksons, I was actually seeing some uh, spiny looking things amongst the kanji. You might be able to guess what they are, but I'd rather show than tell. This is a bit washy, but I can see some antennas around. Lucky the uh, craze are down a bit deeper below this, but 
Oh, a bit, a bit difficult to kind of breathe up and relax right now to get down there. Alright, just gotta, gotta be mindful. Just gotta accept it, breathe, relax, and get down there. Oh, I'm good. How good is he just sitting there? He's like, just sitting there with my mum's sitting under you. Thanks, mate. Hello. Yeah, I know. I did well with time. That is a uh, lobster for dinner sound. <laughs> I, I saw you over there. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Uh, what? Young. Yeah, young. Yeah. So good, so stoked. Hey, yeah, one big one, one on one. Very good. All right, here we are. Got him. So, as you probably know, uh, two most humane ways to kill a lobster is either let him fall asleep on ice or uh, icky jimmy right in in there. But today, because we have the option, we're going to use the fall asleep on ice option. It's good. Uh, a normal size one. And the big one, that's a nice size rock lobster for uh, New South Wales or at least this part. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good cray. Happy with that, keen, so keen. How good does that look? Mm -mm -mm. Endless beach, this is so good. You say I'm wrong, but I think I need it. Think that reason can make me stay Just wanna feel me, just feel me breathing I know this feeling won't go away And this I feel so nice, beach to ourselves Wow, I hate the shells Look at all these shells we're just collecting. There's so many with naturally with holes on it for earrings or necklace. Look at these. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Necklace or earrings? You're an anklet. Anklet? Yeah. Ankle? yeah. Cool. Them for a little <laughs> mason jar? Yeah. Been here for ages now, and the Norris is kind of knocking us around, so I'm gonna try and tuck away somewhere uh, for a cook up, which would be good. The beast is doing well. It's uh, yeah, been getting down dirty. This beach is kind of like a bit soft in some spots, but also with the lower tide, it's been okay. Hopefully, your know, stuff's a bit deeper here. Hopefully, we're, we're sweet to get away, but I'm sure she'll get us through. 
Been doing well. Cool. Came for cook. Came for a cook up. Came for a cook up. Came for a cook up. All right, we're just gonna move on, and it's a little bit softer here, so we're just gonna see if we get stuck. I'm not sure. You look worried. No. Get some speed going. Get some tracks there. Check out the tracks. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And we're off. Yeah, we're good. We're good. clean these lobsters, ready for the plate. Um, today, I mean, I've had lobsters before, I've had wraps before, but I've never had lobster wraps, which that idea just sounds amazing. So really damn keen for that. So this this time I'm gonna do it a bit differently in terms of how I clean it. You might see in other videos I've put up, or will put up, that I uh, just slip them down the middle and, and crack them open and put them on the pan. But this time, instead, we're going to be just removing the tail. So basically you just get the knife in there and you just want to go all the way around the hole of it. And then we yeah, usually twist it and then that all the meat will come out like that. That's all your meat there and your guts and only your guts are left in there. So happy days. That's what you want. Very nice. Now I've got the tail, I'm just going to split that. So, so just make a split down the middle there and then crack it open. Now all the meat is ready. Start down the tail there. Just work our way forward. Rinse and repeat that. Get all the lobster meat, cut it up into little bits. Lobster meat's kind of weird, like raw. All right, let's get it on. So hungry. Yeah, that, that works. So good. A bit of secret seasoning. Oh. That's good. That's the money. Taste tester. Oh, so juicy. That on a wrap. It's gonna be ridiculous. Ratty. Looking good. All right, Talia's little uh, sink special trick is wraps on the pan to heat them up, get them warm, get them. Just so they don't break. Okay, so they don't break. But it's also nicer. Yeah. Way nicer. <laughs> the master little pizza chef. <laughs> oh, the ma oh, look at her at work. That's actually pretty perfect. 
Yeah. There's little there's little brown nice. spots. Yeah. I don't want to put this back. Yeah, no, nah, that's I'll have that one. So I love some first. Oh my gosh. That is. First time doing this. I am so excited. That looks amazing. <laughs> that looks so good. Alrighty, bit of this. Bit of that. Same same leaves from the other day with with Brody. Oh. <laughs> uh, bit of this, bit of that. Signed bottle of you know what? That looks good. I am so excited right now. Oh my god. Never had lobster. Okay. Best wrap I've ever had, definitely. You can't beat lobster. You have lobster, and you have a wrap, and you put them together. You can't beat that. You just can't, apparently. Amazing. I'm judging Talia's technique now. Okay, what's the technique here? You're getting, oh, you've, you've cut the butt off it. What I happened there? Hungry. Oh, you ate it. You ate the ass out of it. All right, okay. I'm gonna go cheese. That's a fair bit of lobster. Is it? I reckon. No, no, no. Like, don't let me stop you. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Bottom, tuck, tuck. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Mm. Give it to me. Tell me. Tell me for reals. It's really good. It's so good, eh? I'm gonna finish these. Have some wine, cheese. Watch the sun go down. Chill. And uh, yeah, it should be good. See you next time. Say I'm wrong.